Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode of Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask. So when we left off um, <laughs> over the weekend, I kind of left you on a cliffhanger. Uh, we stopped in the middle of this temple, but we're back at it, no problem. You know, we have suspend points in this game, so it's great. So we did just go through here. We got our fire arrows, which is awesome. Great job, guys. Um, and so our next order of business is to uh, start over from the beginning. There we go. Um, we're gonna head into here in the blue room and we're gonna see what we need to do, which is to kill all of these little fire beasts again. I was like freaked out. I was like, they changed the location of the fire arrows in the menu. So I was like, what the heck? Oh, we can't shoot arrows while we're on. Duh. Um, <laughs> so let's go ahead and kill these guys. Luckily they stand still, so that makes it pretty easy. I did kind of need that magic, but whatevs, hun, it's fine. Let's go ahead and get that one. Uh, don't really need arrows, but I think we'll have enough to kill this last one. Do that. And then one more, and we should be good. A treasure chest. Oh my gosh. Good job. Good job. Okay, <laughs> let's go ahead and grab these arrows. Uh, perfect, amazing, great job. Uh, don't pay attention to my magic bar. It's fine, everything's great. Uh, we got ourselves a small key, great, good job. And um, yes, yeah, so that means we can do a lot more of this temple now that we have all of this. Let's just double check. Yeah, there's, there's our magic, that's what we were needing. Okay, back into the central chamber. We find ourselves with two green doors blocked up by ice. ice by ice, that's what I said, ice. Uh, so let's go ahead, we'll shoot one, and we'll just go through that door. Cause they're green doors, so they're gonna end up in the same place at the end of it anyways. Okay, um, we'll save those pots for the next time we need it, but it seems pretty simple what we gotta do, which is just kill all of these guys and also like the torches. Only problem being that I can't aim. Killing those guys simply made it so that way we could, don't look down, <laughs> that we could jump across, get inside this treasure chest. And we found our sixth stray fairy. We are over a third of the way through with our fairy hunt, which is great progress, I believe. Okay, can I just, thank you. Um, all right, now we are going to shoot and light all of these torches. Hopefully they don't go out while I take my time shooting them. Ah! What the heck? There we go. Okay, got him. I was like, they literally, ugh, whatever. We got it done, right? That's that's what matters. All right, we're gonna hopscotch. Ooh, my God. Okay. Do that, unlock it. At least the door in that thing, I don't think it'll close back up just because the um, flames are extinguished, hopefully. I don't know, this version, this, this game likes to try my patience. Um, we do have a doorway here. Let's go up first, cause I'm afraid if we leave this room, it's just gonna like lock back up. So let's put on our Deku mask and we're gonna head into this central door, which leads us into the central cavern, but behind the, behind the jail cell, we're gonna have to ground pound this block and shoot it all the way up to the sky. If I remember how. Oh, curl and pound. We did it. <laughs> All right, so below us, obviously, there's a way for us to go down. Um, or we can jump across. We're gonna, I'm gonna explore, oh God. Okay, he made it. I'm gonna explore uh, what's behind down here. Okay, so down in this room is the jumping skull. Oh gosh, okay, okay. You know, mind your business. Um, pretty much this is just the other level lever if we do need to bring it back down, but 
I don't think so. I don't, we don't need that. We just we just popped it up. So now we pretty much get to run through all the levels again, but this time without the helpful bridges to let us like sneak across. All right, so we made our way back over into this room. And from here, we're going to ignore those Stalfos and we are going to shoot this box. It's the dawn of the final day. Uh, I don't think we can shoot it with arrows. I think we have to use bombs. Oh God. This is fine. This is fine. And now that we have a fairy up here, we'll just go ahead and put on our fairy mask and it'll float down to us. Excuse me, fairy sir. I am your mother. You found the seventh stray fairy. Good job. Looks like we can also jump up to here. Do we need to be in here? Oh, okay. And this brings us back to this room over here. Perfect. Except for up on the higher level. So. Oh my god. Okay, that scared the crap out of me. <laughs> Uh, we got ourselves an eighth straight fairy. As you can hear from the rumbling, the rumbling, uh, it is the third day. So we do have to kind of hurry, but I also want to like finish this to completion, you know? Um, is there anything else we need in this room? Okay, so obviously there's a Stalfos, or not Stalfos. Why do I keep calling them that? They're Wolfos. And so I'm just gonna take care of him really quick and then we're gonna step on the button. Stepping on the button revealed a chest. Oh my God. Wow. Uh, so <laughs> let's go check it out. Now that we are up here, let's go ahead and open it up. See, we got a ninth straight fairy. We're getting there. It's like, as soon as you get the item, all of a sudden, so many possibilities unfold. Alrighty, back in this room, we are going to use our fire arrows to shoot this guy and also the eye behind it. It's very mad at me. How dare I? Did you see him shaking like that? Terrifying. Okay. We can also use our lens of truth here to see some platforms. Okay, is this gonna raise back up or do I have to shoot the eye again? And if I do, then I'm just gonna use my regular arrows because I am a little bit short on magic for the time being. We really do need like a bigger magic bar since we actually use it in this game. And we're just gonna hop over here and get onto these little platforms. Oh my God, this jumping puzzle is terrifying because the little platforms are so small. We got the 10th fairy, but at what cost? At what cost? Well, magic filled or not, regardless, it, this does bring us up to the next level of the platform. Ooh, magic. Who would have guessed? Okay, so we got that. Um, it looks like we can rolly back over there and unlock that door. And it's got a safe safety net for us. Thank God. <laughs> Because I am so good at rolling. Whoa, actually, I didn't, I didn't even need the safety net this time. <laughs> we're getting there. Improvement slowly every day. Uh, we're going to go ahead. We, we equip all fire arrows and, <laughs> and get this doorway unlocked. Jeez, I have not had an energy drink yet today. Can you guys tell? Um, <laughs> it's the silly voices. It's the not being able to... What the heck? How are we supposed to get over there? I have to do a rolly again? No, 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 no. Suspend point. Because if I fall back down there... I'll be fighting. When did I get good at rolling? 
Is this just an inherent gift I never knew I had? Oh. Just punch these guys. Just get them out of here. Get them with the booty bounce. There you go. All right, so I'm assuming behind that there is a wig. Perfect. We're gonna shoot this berry, this fairy out of its bubble. Jesus Christ, bro, what is wrong with me? Um, put on our fairy mask. So that way he just comes down to us. And then we don't have to worry about getting hit by fallen icicles, anything like that. Got our 11th stray fairy. Okay, well, we're gonna melt that uh, little ice block in front of the door. I cannot believe that we are- oh my god, could you- oh my god. <laughs> ah! Okay, who's fighting me? You can't both fight me. I'll, I'll leave. You breathe fire at me, I slice you in the mouth. <gasps> A fairy! Okay. I was another fairy! <laughs> oh, there we go. See, that is a good reward. I didn't really, well, I guess they healed me up. Do fairies heal you up after you kill them? I feel like this room is very big for why. Hmm. Maybe we'll come back to it later or something. Okay, so we are on the top level here. Um, hmm. Let's shoot that. See what's going on. Well, it looks like this is the only way for us to go, so we shall do it. Not this guy again. Why? Why? wasn't as bad um, because I just looked at the little red dot about which one was actually gonna be him so you know not too shabby unfortunately he didn't really give us anything um, and we're still missing quite a few things like uh, the boss key Well, at least we got this, the boss key. That's exactly what we were missing and we just got it. Wow. Um, <laughs> cool. 
Now that we have this, let's go ahead and exit through here. Keep in mind, we have a uh, very limited time, so hopefully we can figure out what the heck we're supposed to be doing, huh? Okay, I made it finally. I was <laughs> having difficulties getting to the right level, but we just should be able to break these. Oh no! Oh my god, oh my god, if this kills me. Oh god, that was awful. <clears throat> Alright, after... What did Tattle have to say? Hello, Tattle. Why is this the only pillar that's a different color? Probably because we need to punch it. Hey, I don't know why it wouldn't let me do that on like the other levels, but we finally made it. Obviously, I got a little bit hurt in the process. I kind of fell all the way back down to the bottom. And um, so yeah, that's fine and it's good. Oh my God, guys. <clears throat> I'm definitely gonna have cut most of that out, but when I tell you, I went on a crazy, crazy adventure. Let me tell you what, it was not fun, but we finally got this part unlocked. Um, suspend points, that way if I fall down again, I won't be in literal torture. And unfortunately, made it. And unfortunately, I am also missing a fairy somewhere. Well, two fairies, technically. Climb up here, maybe. Oh my god! Ugh, oh, we did it. Okay. So. Ooh, hearts. This is our way to the boss. Um, Quickly though, I do want to see if I can reach the last fairy. Cause yeah, I have 13 out of 15, which leads me to believe I'm just gonna have to come back here. Cause I really don't have that much time left. Um, considering it's the final night and I want to be able to get through the boss. Are you guys ready? You ready to uh, fight this guy? I hope I am. Good news is, is that he's already defeated. Just kidding. Masked mechanical monster, the goat. Hey. All right, we're gonna put on our Goron mask and we're gonna roll after him. <laughs> and then you gotta do this to his butt. Oh 
my god! <laughs> that boss fight was amazing. Just literally spike roll his booty cheeks and defeat it just like that. Um, first things first, like I said, I did not get all of the fairies that I needed, which means I'm probably going to have to, where did he go? Oh, there it is. I'm probably going to have to revisit this temple, probably off camera, um, to get all of our f fairies so we can get our, our bonus, our level up stuff. But first we have to go see the giants. Got ourselves a heart piece, got ourselves a mask. You've seized goat's remains. You have just freed the innocent spirit that this dark mask had kept imprisoned within the body of the evil goat. The inside of that mask was pretty cool. Well, what exactly are all of you? Bubbles. Guardians. So you're protective gods? That's why you're in the temples? But why are the protective gods... No, wait, are you listening to me? Hey, wait! Is he just like fading into the fog? He sends us away. I thought the gods were like the three um, sisters, like Din... Fa fair, fair, whatever. Maybe there's just multi multiple gods. Oh, we already unfroze his brother. Oh. Ah, oh. Hello? Let's put on our frog mask to talk to this frog boy. I have been waiting for you, Don Garrow. Forgive me if I'm mistaken, but it looks like you've lost a little weight. As you can see, Don Garrow, the long winter has ended and spring has finally come to these mountains. Let us begin our chorus. Unfortunately, it seems not all of our members have gathered. Perhaps it is because winter was too long. They must not have realized that spring has come to the mountains. And when the great Don Garrow has come for us, too. What a pity. Where in the world could the other members be, and what could they be doing? Oh, all those frogs we saw, we were probably supposed to save them. Dang, I wish it wasn't the final night, because I feel like there's a lot for us to do. And isn't it like when we reset, everything goes back to the way it was, so it'll all be, like, frozen again? Anyways, uh, let's go ahead and check out inside of here. Wog, wog, wog. <laughs> oh, a customer. So, bro, your nipples are out. What is the point of a shirt if your nipples are just gonna be out? Sorry, it would take until tomorrow morning to sharpen your sword, and we're not taking any more orders today. Why, you ask? Because tomorrow is the town's carnival, and it can't work during the carnival, can you? That's okay, I don't have a weapon for you guys anyways. But also, bro, put a shirt on. I guess it's his own house. I should mind my business, huh? Haha, -ha, we got water back in the lake. Dang, bro. See what's up down here. Hot spring water. Oh, you know, this definitely would have helped me. If I had used that to that water to actually, you know, open up over here. Get out of here, wolf. 
There's a treasure chest at the bottom of the lake. I really should have reset time so much sooner. Um, let's go down here and talk to these guys. Oh, welcome to Spring in Goron Village. You're just in time. We're holding the Goron races in celebration of spring, so go see them. Oh, I forgot I'm not a Goron, huh? Oh, Darmani, I've been waiting impatiently for you. I have been waiting for your arrival ever since I heard the news. I had heard that you, the one whom I once thought to be dead, had sealed off the blizzard that was blowing in from Snowhead. Thanks to you, spring has come to Goron Village. Everyone is pleased. The greatest Goron hero of all? That's Darmani. The immortal Goron who is not dead even if he has died? <laughs> That's Darmani. The star whom we wish upon? That's Darmani. Darmani, greatest of Gorons. Greatest of Gorons. Darmani is the greatest in the world. Greatest in the world. <laughs> they got a little cheer for us. So cute. My son got better immediately. He went to see the Goron races that celebrate spring. This time, I, protector of this tribe for so many years, choose to yield the seat of tribal patriarch to a younger one. The Goron who makes calm decisions yet boasts courageous determination and can take care of all shall be the patriarch. The chosen one, Darmani, is you. There could be no other. What do you think? If it's you, everyone would happily accept you as the patriarch. What? You need to not you need not answer so quickly. Go, enter the Goron race. Think it over slowly. I'm awaiting a thoughtful response. My answer is gonna be no, bro, because we ain't even a Goron at all. Alrighty guys, I am gonna head back to Clocktown, turn in our money, and unfortunately I am gonna have to restart time. Um Reading through, it seems like if we do end here, uh, I am going to have to redo the temple to turn it back to spring to unlock all the spring stuff, which kind of sucks. But also, I should have just, like, before I go into the temple anytime, I should just definitely uh, reset time. So lesson learned. We know that now. I am going to go ahead and leave this part here. Thank you so much for joining me on this Let's Play series. I'm having a blast playing it, and I'm glad you guys are enjoying it as well. As always, please leave a comment down below. I love chatting with you guys. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And finally, there's a link to all my social media as well as my sticker shop linked below. So until I see you guys again, I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. Bye-bye.